Hello everybody, I want to let everyone know some of my recent um, metal detecting finds. Now before I show you what I found, I want to let everyone know I didn't just go out and find these one day. I've been going out a lot, spending a lot of hours out there. Actually, according to the amount of time I spent from what I see from the internet, uh, I'm not even close to what these guys are posting on the internet, uh, but I've been going out a lot, I've been enjoying it, and I, I haven't, been, you know, it's always great when I find something nice. It's really great, but that's not my main goal. Uh, it's, it's my main uh, purpose of, of finding something, but I really like to go out and get out of the house and have fun, and I love metal detecting. And finding something is just a wonderful benefit. And yeah, I, I don't like being out there for hours and coming home empty handed, but my whole day is better when I get out to the beach. So I'm going to show you some of my uh, recent finds. And uh, by the way, I'm wearing this hat, a Mind Lab. I have a Mind, uh, Mind Lab Excalibur. Uh, metal detector, which I absolutely love. I didn't buy the hat. I wouldn't do that. I'm not that type of person, but I did win it for free. I won the hat in my local metal detecting club, so I figured I'd wear it for this video. Uh, okay, well, so I'm going to show you some finds here. Uh, not too many. This one is an earring I found. I, I, I found a good amount of earrings like this. This was the only one that... Uh, is, I don't know if it's gold or not. Uh, I, it doesn't say it is, so it's probably not. It has uh, some little diamonds there, but uh, I'm just showing you this because I found a lot of rusty earrings. This was the only shiny one I found that's like this, so I don't think it's real gold, but uh, certainly uh, kept me encouraged that morning that I was out there. And you find these a lot in the dry sand, which I found this in the dry sand. Uh, one of my greatest finds uh, from previously was my little gold teeth here. Yeah. Now do I look like a pirate? Uh, well, that's some gold teeth that I found, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure that's real gold. So I'm excited about that. Uh, my greatest find to date, and I'm new to this. I've only been doing this a couple of months, uh, but my favorite find uh, so far has been this. I found this in the ocean, in the water. And this is, uh, it's not gold. I, I forgot the type of... Uh, metal it is but it's it's expensive and it's real uh, but this ring uh, I looked it up online I found it online it was about just four hundred dollar ring so I know I could have done a lot better but it sure was nice to get this it's actually a pretty ring it's a little too big for me uh, I'd wear it if it wasn't it's pretty nice uh, but that was my first one and I asked somebody what do I do with my first ring and they said you keep it yeah, as a souvenir you know I said well if it was worth a lot more, I probably would have cashed it in already, but I'll end up probably cashing in. This morning, I found it was very encouraging, folks. Uh, the ocean's been very wavy, and then finally, it, the water stopped uh, today. It was nice. Actually, it was wavy. I got beat up a little, but uh, this morning, I found this. And uh, it's real gold. I just looked 14 karat gold. Uh, so it's very exciting, and actually my wife likes it, so I'm going to give it to her. She looked at it, and she goes, oh, I like it. I can use it. Absolutely. That's uh, why you let me get the machine, honey, <laughs> so you can use that this ring. That's great. And uh, so that was really nice. I found this this morning in the water. And, and now the last thing I want to show everybody is I found this. And to me, this does not look like real gold. It looks like fake gold, and this was in the dry sand I found it, and the hook actually was, was I don't know, I found the hook next to this, so that's what happened, obviously. So, I'm thinking it's fake gold, and I was thinking, whoa, that was loud. I'm thinking this is fake gold, and this would be a lot of money if it was not fake gold, if it was real gold. Well, this morning when I was looking up this ring, uh, I looked here, and... There it is. It says 14K. It says 14K right here. You can't see it, but but it says it. Uh, so it doesn't look real, but I'm going to have this tested uh, just to make sure. Uh, because it says 14K, which could be fake, but it's pretty heavy. So maybe it is real. I mean, it's, it's a heavy chain. That would be super nice if it's real. So I'm going to find out. And uh, I even tucked it away. I put it away. I didn't think it was real, but when I was checking this morning and saw that, I was like, wow. Anyway, uh, for all my hours, these are probably the best things I've found so far. Uh, for all my hours so far. There's one more. Uh, one more funny story I want to share. 
I got to share this funny story uh, before I go. I found uh, this on the beach in the wet sand, and it it's a little gold coin. I didn't think much of it. And my wife was on the beach looking at it to see what it is. I said, put that away. I don't want everyone to see see me looking here what it is. Anyway, uh, she says, oh, it's a peso, a peso. And she says it's from 1947. And I'm thinking, 1947, you know, that's, let me go home and look it up and see. Well, I looked at it closely with the magnifying glass, and it's actually uh, a, a, a 50 peso or a 20 peso piece. And no, 50. It was 50 pesos. Actually, it said $1,900. It's a gold coin. And I was like, this is amazing. Uh, and, and I was so excited. But then I looked on YouTube and it said that there are some uh, duplicates that are fake out there. So when I was looking at the fake ones, I realized they were so much bigger. They were like the bigger than a, a silver dollar. And this one's really small. So then, uh, not only is this not fake, I looked online. This is smaller than a dime. It's just a, a memorabilia. And it's not worth $1,900. So that was a, a little interesting story I had there uh, so far. Uh, that could have been my greatest find. But that's what's happening with me and metal detecting. And I'm using a MindLab Excalibur. I've used uh, several different beach machines and uh, metal detectors so far. And that's the one I'm loving the most and I'm getting out there. And more than anything, I love my wife for letting me go out there and enjoy this hobby. So... Put your comments below the video. Thanks for checking it out. And keep swinging.